What's going on, guys? Now, I just heard, you know, a few things about what's going on with uh, with T.D. Jakes. And there's been a lot of things that's been coming out about him. Now, first of all, this is not me being very judgmental, but it just goes to show you that everything these people have been hiding for so long, you know, these people that carry God's word, you're, you're held at a very high, you know, you're very responsible of when, when God has put you over, you know, over a church and just a bunch of people, you, you're going to be held accountable of the things that you, the way you put yourself out there and the things that you are doing. And for so long, you know, these people think because they have status, they have platforms, they have the money and the fame, and they got the, all the influence in the world that they think that whatever that they're doing in secret, it's not going to be exposed. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to play this video real quick uh, for you guys. And y'all just let me know. Cassie's husband played a significant role in getting Cassie to turn over the evidence. It's to my understanding that Cassie felt that by exposing the truth, it would also make her look like a filthy more. And I'm paraphrasing there because some of the videos she turned in, it shows her getting number one on number one. OK, guys, I'm paraphrasing again and committing more disgusting acts that she was forced to do. I'm also told that multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that T.D. Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad to do everything you're doing i pray his anointing will stay upon you i pray the power of god all over you i pray his favor i pray the blood of jesus will come upon you right now keep you in his hair god i thank you for your blessings so what i did was i threw that last clip up on there of tj's getting prayed over by uh what's his name again can't take Tyler Perry and we already know uh, Tyler Perry's background and you know what he what he do in his life you know the life the lifestyle that he truly uh, lives uh, it just goes to show you just because you see somebody praying doesn't mean the Holy Spirit is with him because like I said uh, the Bible said uh, give comes out uh, give comes without repentance so just because you see somebody doing something and you saying hey they're gifted but they may be running around with a lot of sin in their life. They haven't took took whatever that they're going through to into the place of God to get that thing right. So just because you see people singing, just because you see people acting and doing things and they saying, hey, I'm doing this for Jesus doesn't mean their heart is 100 percent right. And so that's what discernment. That's what discernment really comes in. The Bible says you will know them by their fruits, and the Bible also say test them by the spirit. There's a lot of people that are testing, you know, testing uh, check blue check marks, their followers, and how many people that they got, you know, supported them and stuff. And you're checking the wrong things. You got to test the spirit, and um, and so it just goes to show you you cannot be deceived by all the stuff. But I seen this little thing that came out. I guess it was something about T.D. Jakes, uh, the Trini. It said T.D. Jakes is a uh, Trini because of some surprising un unverified claims made by a person on TikTok. This person was my Shia, wherever, posted a video on December 21, 2023, suggesting that singer Cassie Ventura gave evidence to the FBI against Diddy. The allegations involved serious actions during Diddy and Cassie's uh, past relationships. The claim also mentioned uh, tapes of Diddy's parties and a burner of phone link to Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-girlfriend. Additionally, the TikToker alleged that an that an email incriminated T.D. Jakes, who played a role in Kim Porter's barrier. These unverified claims have caused a stir of the media, making T.D. Jakes uh, train. So that was one of the things that that was uh, that was put out there too. Listen, guys, I'm going to tell you what. I'm not here to to bash. And I know a lot of people, they say that, they, oh, you know, he's bashing. He's being very judgmental and stuff like that. We all have a past. Yes, we all have a past. We all have done wrong things. But some things you just know that you just can't get yourself into. You know, and the Bible also let us know that, you know, you got to put away those child, childish things, those child, those childish things away. You know, people... Especially, you know, somebody like T. Jakes, he know a way he's supposed to carry himself. He knows the truth. And what he's doing is he's doing a lot of behind the scenes, uh, behind things behind the scenes. And now it's coming to the light. I've been saying this for a very long time for the last couple of years. Everything that's been in darkness for so long, everybody's evil deeds in darkness, in the secret is now coming to light. 
Because what what did I tell you guys? And even you know, Bible scripture tells you. He said, I, he said, I wish my. Uh, he don't want his people, you know, to perish. He want everybody to know the truth. Before everybody departs this earth, you're going to know the truth. And the people that you're following, and people can, you know, write this video off and say, oh, I'm being judgmental and you got to have grace for people like this. Hey, I'm praying for this guy because you you know for a fact the things that you are doing is completely wrong. And, th and I tell everybody, there's a difference between doing what you want to do and struggling in the area. This right here is just him doing what he want to do. And I just got to call it out for what it really is. We're supposed to place righteous judgment. See, righteous judgment don't get taught in the house of God anymore. That's been pushed out of the way. So when anybody is trying to correct somebody, anybody trying to say, hey, if you keep going down this path, this is what's going to happen. You know, they take that as, oh, you're just being judgmental. You just think you're better than everybody else. No, we got to tell the truth. Just like if I'm doing something wrong, I want somebody to hold me accountable and say, hey, you're 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 kind of getting off the narrow path. This is what you need to do, because if you keep falling this way, if you keep doing this, you're going to fall into destruction. And I and I and I and I thank you enough to, to tell me the truth. So I don't, you know, fall back into the old things. And then now I know there's destruction that's going to hit my life. So we have to care. We have to love the people. But at the same time, for me to love you, I got to tell you the truth. And you may not like it. You may not agree with it, but it is what it is. And so we got a lot of people. They look up to these celebrities. And this and this is another reason why, too. They look up to people like this. They put them on a pedestal. This is why you don't put nobody on a pedestal, even including myself. This is why you don't put people on a pedestal. When you put them on a pedestal. You give them so much praise. You acknowledge them so much. Their flesh is going to eventually start rising. Whether you believe it or not. And they and they and they carry around false humility. There's a lot of people that's in the body of Christ that's carrying a bunch of false humility. Now, outwardly, they saying, oh, I'm humble. But back of their minds, they pride as anything. Their pride is so high because people put them on a pedestal. And when you do that, they, they're never going to ever be able to see anything wrong within themselves. And the reason why they don't see nothing wrong within themselves, because they've been put on a pedestal for so for so long, for decades. So they don't think that anything that they do is not a problem. So. And it's just so sad because people don't read their word like they're supposed to. So when somebody like a pastor or whatever is, is, is the Bible said, follow me as I follow Christ. If somebody is getting out of line, if somebody done left the narrow path. And if you had that really close, genuine relationship with Jesus Christ, you're going to discern. You're going to know, OK, he's off track. You're going to be able to know. But when you sit there and justify everything that this guy do now, you just you that's what you're doing. You're just trying to give them a pass because why you don't really have a relationship with God like that. And when you don't have a relationship with God like that, you don't know what's real and you don't know who's false. And so now you're just in this place of confusion. And because you look up to him and you put them on a pedestal so much, you're not going to want to go and correct them. And so this is why it's important to have a relationship with Jesus Christ for yourself. And so, like I said, I'm going to pray for this guy, but but I believe for 2024, we're going to see more of this. And it's been prophesied so many times that how much that God's that that God is going to expose him if he don't get it right. And now we're seeing it now. Everything that's been hidden in darkness behind these industries, these gospel industries and stuff, they drinking, fornicating, smoking behind the scenes. All that stuff is about to be put into the light. You're going to see for 2024 who God is truly with. You're going to see it's not going to be no more lukewarm where we're going. There can't be no lukewarm, uh, lukewarm Christians anymore. Either you're in or you out. That's just where we at. So, like I said, I'm going to pray for this guy. You guys pray for him. Like I said, this you can call it whatever it is. or I'm bashing or whatever like that, because no matter what, we all got to pass. We all do it. And we have done things that were wrong. But there's a but you got to understand there's a difference between doing what you want to do and knowing the truth. Then actually struggling and you need an actual help. There's a difference. So let's pray for this guy. But at the same time, God is not pleasing and he's going to be held accountable. He needs to repent. He needs to ask God for forgiveness and he need to he need to stay away from this stuff. See, because when you start getting into these rooms with these different celebrities and stuff, you know, God's giving you that status. To, to reach them also, not only just the people that's in your church, but also to reach the people that have, you know, 
a whole nother level of influence. But what you do, you get caught up in their status, you get caught up in who they are and their talents and stuff. And, and God may had you there in a moment to go speak a word of encouragement or, 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 or to pray with them and stuff like that. You ain't minister the word to them not one time because why? You're so busy about getting the clout. Hey, his people are going to follow my people. That's what Christianity, especially over here in America, is literally all about. It's all about clout, getting money, getting fame, and being lifted up yourself. And God is about to destroy that. Love you guys and be blessed.